Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. So what we're going to be taking a look at today is the infamous Colt Hockey Stick. This stick's been doing its rounds all over the hockey websites, so after having spoke to Colt, we thought it'd be a great idea to get some in and uh, give you a little bit more information about them, but most importantly, what they'll bring to you as a player. Effectively, what the Colt Hockey Sticks are is your standard high-grade composite hockey stick, but the difference between these ones and the ones that you'll be able to get from your local hockey store is that what I like to refer to as the high wear area of the hockey stick is coated in their patterned nanotech material. Effectively, what this material does is increase the strength and the durability of the hockey stick by 50% when compared to the strongest or the lead composite hockey stick on the current market. When you talk about increasing the strength and durability of a stick, the first thing you think about is going to be the weight. Now, by far, this isn't going to be the lightest stick on the market, but it's not the heaviest out there, but it definitely is the toughest you can get. So after having used the Colt Hockey Stick, we personally feel that this stick is aimed at a certain group of hockey players. If you're the type of player that finds themselves going through dozens of sticks in a season, then this is the sort of stick that you need to consider picking up. In terms of the feel of the stick, specifically the balance, you'll find that the stick is slightly blade heavy, but that's expected with the um, patterned nano coating that they have on the base of the stick around the highway areas, improving the strength and the durability of it. At this current time, the Colt Hockey Sticks are only available in a matte finish, but I do expect them to introduce more grips later on in time. Looking at the curve and flexes of the stick, they do have a good selection for you to be able to choose from on the website. The Colt Hockey Stick seems to have a mid to low kick point, which is going to be great for any of those players that like to use quick release snapshots and wrist shots. But with the stick being slightly blade heavy and incredibly durable, it's going to be great for you guys to be able to lean into those hard slap shots. Compared to the stick that I've currently been using, the Colt Hockey Stick blade didn't feel as lively. But it's definitely important to mention that my slap shots and my wrist shots didn't suffer in accuracy or power. Being able to adapt to using the Colt Hockey Stick is going to be a sort of a transition that you're going to have to go through. You have to weigh up the pros and cons to work out, number one, if this stick is going to be right for you, but most importantly, if you're prepared to go through the transition of learning how to use the Colt Hockey Stick. So to sum up the Colt Hockey Stick, from a forward point of view, me personally being a left winger, uh, you're prone to plenty of hacks throughout the game. Let's say, for example, you've just beat the last defender. In a desperate attempt to regain the puck, you'll swing your stick round and take a hack at your stick. Maybe it won't do anything of significant damage at the time, but the forwards obviously take a lot more shots in the game, and the last thing a forward wants is for a stick to break at a vital point in the game. As a sentiment, your stick's probably prone to more abuse than any other player on the ice. Various face-offs throughout the game, your stick's getting hacked at in the hack zone. You're also going to be in the slot, maybe either end of the ice, getting hacked and slashed at throughout the game. So having a stick that's more durable will always give you a greater advantage on the ice. As a defenceman, uh, the Colt stick is really beneficial when battling out in the corners to try and win the puck and get it out of the zone. Uh, there's lots of slashing, lots of hacking and lots of action against the boards and you, you tend to see at the bottom half of the stick that there's always lots of marks when you come out of the corner. When attacking, as a uh, defenceman, you want to be up on the point, ready to take a slap shot at a moment's notice. With uh, some sticks, you've got a lot of flex in them, you feel that uh, they're going to snap at the point. It's the last thing you want to do when you're trying to take a quick shot. But with the Colt, I never feel this is going to happen. The Colt hockey stick has all of the attributes of a high-end hockey stick without the fear of breaking them. In my view, this is the last stick you'll ever need to buy.